make cookies in the springtime, you're probably going to want to add some flowers. It's a lot simpler than you may think. You don't even need a special metal piping tip. You can create beautiful flowers like the ones I made on these Mother's Day cookies simply using the piping bags you already have on hand. I'm going to show you how. First, we're going to take pink to make a rosette. So I'm going to take my pink piping bag. This is very stiff icing. It's basically icing that came fresh out of the mixer with no extra water added. I'm going to squeeze the top of it and then I'm going to cut two cuts into the bag, only about a centimeter down. One in the center here, a very small one, and then I'm going to push it in the opposite direction. This time the seam of my piping bag is down the center. And I'm going to make another cut there. And then I will push my icing forward. So now I'll show you what it looks like on the cookie. We have our two cuts in our bag. And what that did is it essentially made our own piping tip. Super simple. Just squeeze gently and wrap it around and you have a rosebud without having to change out your piping bags or add a metal piping tip. Now the next thing we need for this cookie is some leaves and that's also just as simple. Take some green icing and push the flatten up the tip and we want our seam to go in the middle of our piping bag. We're going to cut a V into our seam, just a very small amount. So I'm going to do one diagonal cut down this way and I'm going to do one diagonal cut down this way. So you can see what you have here is a little V going down into your bag with it meeting right at the center of your bag. Then I'm going to turn my bag over and push it so that tip of the V is now in the center. I'll bring my cookie back over and keeping that tip flat, I'll push until we have a beautiful little cookie. So you just squeeze and then release pressure to get the tip of your leaf and you can add these adorable leaves to your rosebuds. You just want to make sure that you always have the point flat and in the center. Now if you cut your hole too big, don't worry, you can just simply squeeze out the icing and then retry it, or you can just have a bigger leaf. It really depends on what size leaf that you want to have. What's great is that this is super versatile and you can do it over and over again until you get the exact shape of leaf that you want. So there you have it, super simple and a great way to add a little bit of extra detail to your cookies.